so we're back. Um, it's been a quite a few days, actually. It's been mm, a week or more, um, actually, since I've done any videos. And I have to finish this page. Now, I went ahead and I put some... Uh, that plum, blah, 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 plum, black plum, whatever it was around it. Right now I'm not thrilled with it. So what I've got today is I picked out a couple metallics. I have a purple amethyst and I have a topaz. Um, I also got some deco art uh, titanium white and then I have some glitter glue. And the first thing I'm going to do is just make this page more into what I want it to be at this point. Have you ever noticed that when you... Um, work on a piece of art and you step away and you come back it's like ah uh, no I, I wasn't going there with those colors you know you find I do anyways I find that um, I my, my mood or my feeling for the piece changes and I just don't like it anymore the way I was going so what we're gonna do we are just gonna change this up Today I'm not into that type of a mauve uh, dark color. I'm more into a lighter, whiter color. Or maybe even a blue. And I'm just using the, um, I don't know, Tim Holtz, Ranger. I know it's Ranger. Just using the Ranger tool to uh, put this on, the blue, the metallic, the white. There, I like that much better much much better that's more what I'm looking for today anyways so we just got rid of that mauvey blueberry blackish plum <laughs> I can't remember the name of it <laughs> can you tell um, these are the pieces that I had picked out prior to put on here uh, these are both uh, Diane Reevely stamps um, that I've actually just stamped onto pages from one of her journals and then I used a little bit of paint a little bit of Copics a little bit of us uh, not Copics I'm sorry I don't own any of those um, some spectrum noir pens to play around with her to color her so um, one of the first things I'm gonna do I changed that now what I want is I want just a little bit of this purple metallic and we're just gonna get this a little bit purple purple I cannot wait to do a video for you guys of my new studio I am beyond excited uh, my husband is the best man on earth he busted his butt to get this studio up so I could be in it and up and running um, it's still not quite done. We still have some shelving that he's going to build for me. Um, and I'm trying to decide what I'm going to do about my table. Right now, the way things are set up, I do have a lot more room on this table that I'm using. But I still don't have that wide, really wide um, area as I wanted to have. Um, I wanted to be able to just spread completely out. <laughs> And I haven't done that yet, but all right. So I just put a little of this purple metallic. You can see it shine, right? Okay. And this says she designed a life she loved. So let me put that away. I'm going to dry this up real quick. Then we're going to come back, do some stamps on it, play around with it. We'll be right back. Okay. So I've decided I want to get some texture on this page. It's pretty well dry. Um, I've got the modeling cream. This is from Viva. Um, and the reason I have these on is because my hands are always froze and I don't, I don't know why. Anyway, let's get some of this modeling cream. I've got a palette knife and I just have a piece of punchella that's uh, been used. I've used it quite a bit. And I'm not looking for any specific area. I'm just going to randomly put this down, pick it up, drop it somewhere else, and throw some more in. Why not, right? Looks good. Let's do some more. All right, then we're going to have to dry this up real quick. This won't take that long to dry. All right, that's awesome. I'll put this away. 
Okay, let me dry this up and then we'll keep going. Okay, I dug out this stamp. It's just circles and it has a little heart in the middle. And I'm gonna use some archival ink. And we're just gonna put a few random, random circles. One, two, three. That works. Over here. Let's use it over here too. Why not? Alright, cleaning off the stamp. Perfect. Okay. Now we've got to figure out. Where's my stencil? Oh, I gotta show you this that I, I figured out the other day. I have a whole bunch of little stencils that aren't, I mean, they're, they're small stencils, right? Instead of putting them in a uh, box like I have the other one in the things, I found this. This is an old photo album that I got from like the dollar store years and years and years ago. And I just decided to throw them all in here, which is, it works fantastic. So, little tip for you. All right, let's look and see how this is going to go on here. I'm thinking I want that this way. I want her kind of under it, maybe a little bit over it. I think that's how she's going to be. But we got to get our glue out. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do, I'm not going to worry about that yet. I want her under and over. So let's take this. Um, this is that glue that I showed you. It's just from Ink Essentials Glue and Seal. Collage glue is what it says. And I'm just going to glue this up really well. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not ready yet. Take a paper towel. Clean it up. Sorry, I had my uh, my glue brush in my mouth. All right, I'm just gonna put this here to start. I don't want it down all the way. Gonna take her, do some glue on her. I let this brush sit out overnight last night and it's got glue on it, so it's kind of hard. But that's okay. I just want her like peeking down under here. Come on. Yeah, like that. Do, 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 do. All right, that's where I want her down. Let's get her put down here. Come on, stay down. I know you can stay down. This is not where I wanted it. Not right there. There we go. Now I know I have a lot of that texture underneath, so I know that's part of the reason that it's not sticking the way I want it to, but it will. Use enough glue, anything will stick. All right, so she designed a life that she loves. I want to kind of put that right here, maybe to cover up her. You know what we're going to do? We are going to cut this apart. And we're going to put she designed right there, a life that she loves. So let's round this up. We're going to put she designed right there. A life.
There we go. And look at that. She is all stuck down. She is, she is. So now I am going to set her aside for a little bit, let her dry. Uh, I'll probably work on something else for a little bit. And then I'm going to come back and we're going to do some doodling here and there. And guess what? This journal is complete. So once we get, oops, her all dried up, I <laughs> got purple paint, all dried up and come back and do the doodles and stuff and then we'll do a flip through and I think we're just going to do it right at the end of this page. So bear with me, I'll be right back. All right, so it's kind of pretty well dry. How do you like that? Kind of pretty well. And I'm just going to play around now with some doodles. I've got this song in my head. Um, it's Hallelujah. I watched it this morning on, um, I don't know if it was YouTube or Facebook. I think it was Facebook. And it just won't leave my head now. So it's going around and around and around. What do you do when you get a song like that? It's funny because um, yesterday morning I had to take my granddaughter to school. And when she got in the car, I was playing um, I'm on Fire by Rascal Flats. And uh, she was so funny. I picked her up after school. She says, Grandma, that song will not leave my head. I'm on fire, she says. <laughs> it was just kind of funny. She was like, it just won't leave my head. I said, do you want another song? No, it's annoying. I said, how about Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer? She goes, that one I like. <laughs> That's funny. She loves to get in Grandma's van and crank the music and sing. That is just one of the things her and I have done since she was a baby. And uh, we still do. She gets in the car and she's like, turn it up, Grandma. Okay. So we turn it up and we sing, mostly country. She likes her country music, as I do as well. So I'm just um, playing around with some, I've got a couple, this is a Posca, um, the other one I think was a Bic or a Sharpie. So I'm just playing around with this, just kind of doodling here and there. Um, I do want to grab, I think I'm going to get out my, uh, what do you call it, Sakura ink? No, Sumi ink. Where did I get Sakura from? I think it should be called Sumo Ink. All right, let's see. Well, let's try this. This is a Japanese, I have no idea, pen. Sorry, I have to change my position. Okay. So I just want to highlight this a little bit more. So I'm just going to... I'm not sure where this um, saying came from. I don't believe this is a, a Diane Reevely stamp. It looks to me like a stamp or it may have came in some packaging of something that I purchased. I'm not sure. But um, I just like the saying, she designed a life. That she loved. And it's funny because don't we do that? I know um, prior to my accident, I know my uh, my whole life that I loved was apparently traveling because I was never home. Um, but I was always on the road for my job. And, you know, I actually enjoyed it. Now, mm, I don't think I would enjoy it as much. But back then, it was cool. All right, I'm just going to darken up this black here in our circles. My ink is just not as black as I'd like it to be. And then we're going to outline our heart. So what do you do when you get that tune stuck in your head? 
I usually have to end up um, playing, you know, more music that I like to try to get that single one out of my head. But then what will happen is I'll end up with another song in my head. So I'm not sure why we do that. Any idea? Inquiring minds want to know. Remember that saying? That used to be for the Inquirer. The junk newspaper. But then again, um, I don't, I don't read newspaper. Well, I don't read papers like that at all. I don't even watch the news. I prefer not to. It's too. Uh, it's just. It's sickening, is what it is. There's, there's so many unkind, nasty people out in the world. And the things that they do to other human beings just is beside myself. I can't, can't deal with it. So I just don't listen. My hubs will be come home and I'll be like, oh, I'm going to do this, this, this tomorrow. He's like, no, you're not. It's going to have a snowstorm. Oh, there is? <laughs> okay. Didn't know that. Sound like I'm sitting here babbling, but I'm just so happy to be in my studio. And I'm so happy to be doing art again. Today's a quite high pain day. That might be why I'm yabbering so much. It's because I do have some painkillers in me, so I can do this. Without them, um, I would pretty much be curled up in a ball. I don't want to do that today, so. I'm finally learning that in order to live the life I love, um, I do have to take medication at times. Because if I don't, I just, I would not have any life. So, I fought with it for several years, as you guys know, with my, um, my story that I'm still working on. Don't give up on me. Uh, I have another chapter coming out soon. Um, when that comes out, um, you'll see where things are going. But during those first, I'd say, two to three years, I refused painkillers. Because I just wanted to get better. Well, that didn't work. I like her. What do you think? I really don't want to do anything more to her. I like her just the way she is. I like the simplicity in a way. I just think she's fantastic. So let me dry what I've done here up and then what we'll do is I'll do a quick flip through and we'll be all done with this journal. I'll be right back. <laughs> 